So, my name is Vesa Avinem. I come from the company called Dazzle, and it's my pleasure to be with you here to talk about the AI uh, and industry. I take a little bit uh, maybe strategic and future-oriented view on this. Uh, our company's purpose, and also my purpose, is to help our clients to see, build and live better futures. In Finnish we call it tulevaisuusilo. These dark times, we need more joyful futures. So basically it includes foresight, strategy, innovation, and especially how we put these things into action, change the culture, mindset, and use the best potential also from the technology. I wrote a book about Metaverse. It's in Finnish. Um, if you are interested in, it's kind of a guide for leaders and everyone who is curious about Metaverse, AI, technologies, strategies, and futures. And I have an early Christmas gift for you with code META20, all capital, you can buy it from the kauppakamari.fi. It's Black Monday. <laughs> yeah, it is Black Monday. Um, okay. So, if you look into the situation now, I think we are living the plus AI era. So, we have the existing product services companies, we have digitized something, and now the AI, uh, analytical AI, generative AI uh, comes into this. But I think we are moving into the A plus era. So the data, AI, other technologies become one of the core value drivers combined with humans. Uh, and this is going to be a big change. And we can see already some of the bigger and smaller companies becoming AI first. Uh, with AI first strategies. So when we combine AI, uh, analytical and generative AI with other technologies, also with humans and new ways of uh, creating value, we look into the whole value chain, customer side, our internal oper operations, partners and supply chain, we find a lot of use cases. And uh, of course, if we have a good core business, we have to improve it, efficiency, productivity, and AI, other technologies can help in that, this. And it seems that most of the uh, use cases, when you go through thousands of them, is improving existing, and it is important. But the big uh, disruptions are coming, and the biggest growth and innovations could be when we create new product services, business models, and maybe totally re reinvent our business. So we can expand to other businesses or we can kind of think that this is not our business. <laughs> we use this, our capabilities in other business areas, new purpose on top of the uh, and new vision and strategies on top of the, the new products and services. Uh, we had excellent examples of, of the generative AI and when we combine the other technologies, uh, I think the exponential <laughs> kind of futures we have been waiting for are coming uh, uh, already here. And I think uh, everybody had their popcorns and glass of wine watching the open AI, AI drama. And there is the Q-star, is the new revolution in the algorithms. But when you look into every, every tech giant, they, they uh, creating the LLMs and putting AI in everything. Uh, Microsoft leading, leading the way. But also in China and open source uh, solutions should be on your futures radar. Uh, this is interesting, just as an example. Microsoft announced uh, in Ignite even this co-pilot that comes to the Dynamics 365 guides and combines the generative AI and then uh, mixed reality. So basically, if you had the digital twins and all the data, you start talking with the peop uh, machines and uh, factories and everything. So uh, step by step assistance, as we saw earlier, on demand information, uh, streamlined documentation. Just as an example, uh, this is already here in, in, in pilot mode. And also from Microsoft, but NVIDIA and other tech giants, they are offering 
uh, voice cloning, they are offering uh, avatars. That's one interface for us, easy to um, kind of uh, relate to and uh, have a converse with AI. Um, so the things that took a lot of effort, money, five years ago, two years ago, now are coming democratized and you get everything from the cloud. Uh, very reasonable monthly <laughs> payments. But just an example that the AI and generative AI, they advance, but other technologies advance too. And the, the combination of these technologies might create new value for your company. Uh, we were part of the VTT, Human Driven Interstellar Metaverse um, program. And in this, uh, I liked that it was human driven. And then we bring the other technologies. It was, it was mostly for the, for the existing businesses in industries. And we tried to find a lot of use cases for metaverse AI and other technologies and the human collaboration from R&D production deployment supporting maintenance. If you're interested about this, there's a great vision uh, paper about that. A tip. Now, when we have all these use cases, how do you can categorize them and how in your company you could think about uh, what kind of use cases, AI use cases you could use. Uh, this is a Gardner AI opportunity radar. There are many other tools, but just an, uh, as an example. So there's external customer facing, internal, internal operations, and you map the use cases. But also, what is your ambition level for the innovation? Um, is it, is it a everyday AI or Gardner's term, game-changing AI? And also, strategic-wise, you could defend your position, extend your position, up enter your position. I translate it to my language, improve existing, create new uh, and reinvention. And then you could have a discussion with your board and uh, developers and uh, management team that what are we going to uh, kind of focus on. And this could be uh, uh, a dream for many companies, but there are no competencies. So it might be this might be better solutions than trying to go AI first uh, right away. But that, that is the fuse, future. AI will infuse in everything. Our operations, our products, our services, our strategies. So, and when you, you know many of these use cases, and I'm not going to go through. So many of them are improving existing. So if uh, we can use the sensors, machine uh, vision, we can use uh, hearing, and we can improve health and safety, quality control, predicted maintenance. Maybe this is coming also that we can create a new business model on this if you are in, in maintenance business. And then more and more you look into these use cases, you can see that uh, there's a dream about the value chain optimization, supply chain optimization, scenarios, simulations. And as we saw earlier, using it in the design, build, operate, kind of like life cycle. Uh, this is interesting, small case. Uh, NASA used generative AI in the design phase to create a new spare part. And actually, they created it faster, lighter, and totally new kind of shape that the human designers wouldn't even think about. So this has become now part of the, the design process. And when they combine with 3D printing, uh, it's very exciting future what, what they can do, uh, also in space. When we bring in robotics, this is from the World Robotics uh, Report 2023. Of course, we see the industrial robotics advancing, cobots, AI becomes part of the robots. They learn faster, you can talk with them, and the humanoid robots over there. But I think the humanoid robots are actually coming faster. They have been coming last 10 years, but now could be the time that uh, Amazon is pu pulling, putting a lot of effort in these humanoid robots, simple tasks. 
they can use. And when we combine AI and metaverse virtual areas, these robots can learn while they work. And new skills you just download from, from the matrix. Uh, China is putting a lot of effort in um, AI and robotics, and they are also building, um, building uh, humanoid robots. And some people thought this was a joke, Tesla's Optimus robot. Actually, it, it seems to be advancing uh, faster. And of course, they have a new Grok model using the X in information. So that could be also make this uh, advance a little bit faster. Interesting case, how these different um, kind of technologies come together. BMW partnered with uh, NVIDIA and Siemens, they created um, digital twins from everything, from the smallest parts to the cars, to the production lines, to the uh, uh, factory, the area, humans. And they globally designed a new factory using NVIDIA's Omniverse platform. And the results are very impressive. So they totally reinvented the design process. They can now design new factories faster, make it reality faster, uh, improve quality and efficiency. And look at the numbers. They are not just 2%. They are halving their design time and build time. So, um, but also it will affect other. The metaverse AI becomes the interface for the factories, cars, and you can use the digital assets. When you design a new uh, uh, digital twin of car, you can actually already show it to the customer. And <laughs> you can optimize in so many different ways. And this, I think, will be the future, even for smaller, if you are building chairs or whatever. So this is not only for big companies. Some leader from NVIDIA said that they were really surprised they were expecting the SMEs to jump in into this AI, uh, kind of like uh, a digital twin omniverse world. But the car makers were the first ones, and they are really uh, advancing fast. Of course, I'm not going to go in, into this. They are using AI in everything. I think BMW is one of the companies who wants to be a AI plus company. And as we saw from Kerber and others, it, it's, it's a huge task. But when you start building it, using, using the new value drivers, uh, you might disrupt the um, uh, competition. Well, with automotive Telia case, robot, LIDARs, pictures, makes a digital twin with AI from the existing kind of like um, facilities. So it seems that our future is that uh, some of the workers, companies, teams, uh, even societies will get these superpowers. And the, the gap between the forerunners and those who are left behind is widening. So at least you, you should start experimenting and learning as fast as you can. But just as a reminder, adopting new technology, you need to take everyone on board. Think about the new mindsets, skills, uh, leadership, culture you need. So hopefully we use these superpowers to see and build better futures. And the next Vappu, we are going to have these AI friends, colleagues and machines having a champagne with us. So that's my presentation. Thank you.